Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Today I am going to do a tag on I Heart Spring Tags. It's finally that time of the year where it's starting to warm up and maybe some rain here and there. It's very different here in the Midwest and I'll get to that in, in one of the questions. So the first question for this I Heart Spring Tag is your favorite spring nail polish. And I am not actually before I wasn't huge on nail polish. I had a total of two nail polishes in my nail polish collection until I discovered at Dollar Tree that you can buy nail polish. They even have name brand ones over there like Sally Hansen and NYC and I think there was another one but I forgot. But my favorite that I've used so far only on my toenails because I don't like bright colors on my fingers is this Sally Hansen one I got at Dollar Tree and it looks like it's this bright pretty spring pink and I love this one so much that um, last night while Luis was sleeping like at like 1 a.m. I think I painted this on <laughs> I painted this on his toes and they weren't pretty or anything it's really hard to paint on someone's toes without them knowing and doing it in the semi-dark because I couldn't turn um, my flashlight on my phone on too bright it was so funny because the next morning he saw it at the gym. So this morning I said, hey, I wrote you a note in your socks. Did you see it? So he stepped out of the gym, went to the bathroom, took off his socks and couldn't find the note. And then he saw his nails and he was just like, what in the world? And his gym buddy came in and was like, hey, are you okay? And so Luis like quickly put his socks on and was like, oh yeah, I'm okay. I'm just getting a cramp. And so as soon as he came home, I actually, that last night I actually hid the nail polish remover because I knew what he was going to do the next day he came home he was looking for it I was like what's going on what's wrong he's like I don't know how to get these things off I've used soap I've used vinegar <laughs> I've used goof off and he's like I'm about to take this wired brush and use it on my toes and I was like I'm not gonna tell you I think it looks pretty you should leave it on and so it was really funny and then and when I went downstairs half of it was off because he DIY'd how to get nail polish off of your toes or off of your nails without using nail polish remover and which is the alcohol from perfume so that was a good trick I had a really late April Fool's trick I did on Louise but it was really funny and I was like oh you look so pretty but he didn't like it at all he was so embarrassed <laughs> okay and number two what is your favorite must-have lip color this spring one thing that I have tried that is new this NARS satin lip pencil in Riku Gian. here's what the color looks like and this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now and I like it because it's um it's a little bold but a little natural and it has this really pretty silky um, texture to it so it has this really fresh um, pretty pink look to it. Number three says show us your favorite spring dress. This is one I got last year but I wore a lot while at home. This is a dress that my sister got for me when they went to the Philippines last year and in Filipino or in Tagalog we call something you wear around the house uh, called like a pambahay, like a, something you wear in the house, like something comfortable. And so this is what I wore all last spring into summer and and one that I'm going to start using here pretty soon because it's getting hot again. This just really long sundress. But here's... The patterns are, are big, but I don't care. It's, it's just cute. I love the colors and the pattern. Here's the pattern. And I think it's like a, a bird in a cage. But the top is really foofy and, and um, bubbly, so I, I don't have to wear like a bra or anything because you can't see. And um, the straps have this kind of belt texture to it, this braided belt texture, and it is long, see as you can see. But I really like this, it's a perfect bomba high spring dress, and so I'm excited to start wearing that again. Number four, what is your favorite flower? My favorite flowers are tulips. Number five, favorite accessory? Or scarf this is one I wore with a pink shirt or pink long sleeve on Easter and I matched it with this scarf and I although it does have sunflowers and sunflowers kind of remind me of um, fall though it does have some like this orange tint to it but it's still to me in my eyes maybe I'm colorblind it looks pink this is it's just an infinity scarf um, a sheer one as you can see. And number six, what trends are you most excited about this year, whether it's makeup or fashion or um, hair? I would definitely say hair. 
I mean, when I think of summer, I think of short hair, and me, I'm a long haired person, but when I cut it off right before spring, it was just like, like a fresh of breath air through my hair. And I'm really excited to wear this um, style, this long bob throughout the, the spring and summer and see how it goes because, because so far I'm really loving it. It's not even taking me forever to get ready anymore. I have so much time to just goof around and it looks really nice um, when you have short hair which is like the tousled like messy hair the next day and this I curled my hair yesterday and this is how it looks today and so it just looks fresh and it still looks clean and it just it looks trendy and so I don't know how long bobs have been around but to me it just feels new because I actually took the plunge and did it number seven is favorite spring candle I haven't bought anything new yet but I did save one candle that I got last year this one is a pink petal tea cake from um, Bath and Body and this is what it looks like. I especially love the um, cover because it's, it's this like light gold cover, like this floral cover. It's perfect because it is pink and it is, it is very floral and it's very appropriate for the spring since spring, since April showers bring May flowers. So trends right now is all about the pink, the bright blues, and the floral. So number eight is what is your favorite perfume or spray? For Another thing that I'm not really into is um, spray, uh, perfume. But I do have a bunch of lotions, but so I'm just gonna mention that. This Nivea Skin Firming and Toning Lotion. And you guys know it's bikini season. For me, it's like the time for me to get back into shape. I've been doing it since January. I'm really loving the results, but to kick it up a notch, especially with my twin skin, I decided to opt in for the Nivea Skin Firming and Toning Lotion, and I've seen some really good reviews on it, and so I've been using it for a while. The smell is really refreshing. It kind of smells like this um, out of the shower smell. Like you smell clean and you smell fresh. Number nine is what is spring like where you live? Right now it's like, it, right now it's kind of weird. Just last week we had a frost day and, and before that it was snowing and then all of a sudden the next day it was hot. It's just really up and down right now. Nothing is really steady. Today it, it was groggy and so I felt groggy. And it's weird how weather does that to you. But because it's spring, if I feel like spring is always like up and down, up and down, and then once it hits the end of spring and into summer, it's very, it's more steady. So right now it just seems up and down here. And number 10, what is your favorite thing about spring? I definitely would have to say just the blue sky and the weather, just it being warm. Just because I'm from Alaska doesn't mean I just love the cold all the time. But that's the main reason why I like spring is because of the blue skies. You can hear the birds chirping again and you can see the flowers blooming. But the big downside for me and to look out for are the bugs and the mosquitoes. Number 11, are you a spring cleaner? Um, I'm a cleaner in general. I clean every day. I love to organize. I love to dispose of things that I don't use. So yes, I am definitely a spring cleaner. And number 12, do you have any plans for spring vacation or spring break vacation? Well, I haven't been in school for a while, so I don't even remember when those dates are. But for a family spring vacation, it will be in um, two weeks. We are going to California in two weeks here in April. And I'm so excited to see my family. I'm excited to see all these people and go to malls and just see like a billion people being busy and doing stuff and, and just eating food, like it's eating food that they don't have here. I'm just so excited to do that. So that concludes this I Heart Spring Tag. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And check the information down below. I will tag some of my uh, good YouTube friends here along with the questions. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.